Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching. Jazzy Sue, she has come to join us. Um, I have, oh, I was talking to a coworker today and I don't know if any of you guys feel this every once in a while. Do you ever feel like overwhelmed by the items that you have that surround you in your everyday life and you're just thinking, oh my gosh, these need to go to other people so they can go to good use. I have too much stuff. I got to quit buying things. I felt that way today. Um, I think what I might do is take a garbage bag to like one of my closets and clean it out and take it to the Salvation Army or Goodwill because I'm not wearing it, but then I feel guilty. And this is what I was telling my coworker. And please tell me I am not alone. Where if like one of your parents gave you something or a grandparent or someone special in your life or someone gifted you something and you feel like you can't give it up, you can't give it away because I don't know, it's just really hard to be emotionally attached to items, especially having lost my mom and my mother-in-law. Um, for those of you that know don't know, my mom died eight years ago and then my mother-in-law died 14 months later and we lived with her for seven years she's a big part of my life, you know, my whole relationship with Joe, obviously. Um, and so I have things that she gave me and it's like, or Joe has things and it, it's very overwhelming sometimes. And I'm thinking now that it's starting to get dark, you know, earlier and it's winter and you can't really go outside anymore. I should start going through my stuff. I think I might start tonight. I don't know. Tell me, am I alone? I have, um, all of my Scentsy. So let's do a thumbnail. You like that? Um, that I've gone through in the last couple of weeks. Some of these items you can't get anymore. Some of them I can't even get anymore. Um, I've hauled a ton of Scentsy in the last couple of days. I don't know if I have anything coming. Oh, yes, I do. Um, Spin from Frozen, the Scent Buddy. Now you can see when she does what you're hearing when she does that. Um, and Mickey and Minnie, those are all still available. I can't even believe it. I am going to up like film this and upload this tonight. I'm trying to get out more videos for you guys in December because I know a lot of people really enjoy that. And with Scentsy, it, as long as you order before the 15th of the month, they guarantee it to be here before Christmas. I can't even believe we're saying that. I was re-watching a video that I did a year ago and I said in that video something about... I can't believe I'm even talking about January 2020 and now here I am getting ready to talk about January 2021. Crazy. Um, so let's get started. First thing that I went through, this is amazing. It's no longer available. I stacked up on this. I absolutely love this counter cleaner. I love Sensi's counter cleaner in general, but the peppermint is amazing. Um, I'm going to hang on to this bottle. Um, just to reuse for other items that, you know, in case I need a bottle for some reason. So that's the perfect peppermint and it smelled amazing. Um, oh, Arctic Kiss. I already went through one of the scents for this month. This is the December scent of the month. It's 10% off right now on my website. It's the Arctic Kiss. Smells so good. I have this going. I went ahead and put it in my kitchen my dining room, and I think the warmer in my living room. Like that area is all connected. Um, I don't always have to have my scents that match. I, even though I have like a, a half open concept kind of thing, our stairs are in the middle of the house. What are you doing? So I did just put this in and I have enjoyed it. Um, this will be my second night with it. This one I put in when you first walk in my house, and that is Cutie Pie Cupcake. Oh, and these are both um, empty because I did put four cubes of Cutie Pie in my one warmer because it had a four on the bottom of it, and then I did two and two. So when you first walk in, this is the one you smell. This is so good. It's like lemon cake, but while it's warming, like what I did was I cleaned out all my warmers last night and then I put the wax in and then turned them off so that when I got home tonight, it's all fresh. So those two are the ones that are getting ready to, I'll be able to smell here in a few minutes. I told you guys around the campfire, one of my most favorite scents with Scentsy right now. It's so good, so refreshing to me. I love that like that campfire smell, but it's a sweet campfire. This will be in my club. If they never bring that back, that'll be in my club. Uh, strawberry taffy, 
you can't really see it. It's kind of bright in my light. Is a scent that we had. Um, it's a good strawberry scent. It's not my favorite by any means. Um, but I did use it up. I can't remember where I put it now. But I did use it up because I didn't want to waste it. Because I think there was like one or two cubes left. And like I said, I'm trying to clean things and, you know, dwindle down. I just put a winterberry apple tea in the garage. You guys know I like to have my diffusers out there. So far... I think the coldest we've gotten is near 30, so it hasn't been below freezing, and I can still smell it in my garage. Um, I'll give it probably another month. Our coldest months in Michigan are typically January and February, so we'll see how my diffuser does out there, but you guys know this is amazing. I love it in the bath soak. I love it in wax form. It's so good. Um... Oh, the scents of the season. I did just get my second set of these. This is the Wassel Wonderland. Um, I put it in the living room over Thanksgiving week. And I think I started on Wednesday night. I think I told you guys when we were cooking onions. And it's good, but it's not my favorite. This is not club worthy in my opinion. Um, it's not, I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, I got to hoard this. It's a nice fragrance if you like orange and spice. But it's not really my jam. I have to really be in the mood for it. Um, I did put a winterberry apple tea in my Eeyore scent buddy. Can't smell it through here. All the things, you already know that. Oh, apples and oats. I love this one. It's such a great apple scent. It's very warm and it smells like oatmeal. It smells like grandma's making you breakfast. Like that's what that reminds me of and I really enjoy that. Um, I miss my grandma because she will have been gone 26 years on the 15th. That's so crazy. December 15th has been 26 years. That It doesn't even seem possible. Is it 26 years? It has to be more than that. She died in 1994, in December of 1994, and it's 2020. So I do the math. I can't right now. Apples and s'mores. <laughs> I don't know about this one. It's good. I like the way it smells, but when it's warming, it reminds me of something else. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep giving it a fair shot because I do have two fresh bars here. I think I have three all together. It is in my club right now. I wanted this to be more like graham cracker, like apples and marshmallow and graham cracker. And it's not, it's more like an apple spice pie, like the spice in the getting jazz here everywhere. It's more like the spice in the apple pie and the combination together. I just, I'm, I'm on the fence. I know my friend Christina and I were going back and forth on that. She had warmed it. I got to remember to ask her what her thoughts were. Christina, Facebook me and tell me what your thoughts were on apples and s'mores because I can't remember. Um, I don't know about that one. I'm just being honest. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you guys have to have it. Everybody's wheelhouse is different. Our noses are all different. And for me, it's just not there, but I'm going to move it to a different warmer and I'll give it my fair shot. Bright Cider Life, you guys already know this is my favorite. These are in my scent club. Not the pods, unfortunately. I do have a plethora of these, but love them. Oh, <laughs> Bright Cider Life. Already a... Oh, a pumpkin chai. I have several of these in backup as well. It's pumpkin and tea. It smells really good. Uh... <laughs> Bright side of life. Jack's not lying. Oh, I love that one. It'll always be in my scent club. Oh, Monsters, Inc. Metropolis. I had that in our bedroom last week. And oh my God. So it was in the bathroom, Joe's man cave in our bedroom. And oh my God. Where are we at? The nine minute mark. Did you see that? There was something that came here and floated here. And there it literally is, I don't have any light that would be coming from that direction. Let me know if you saw that. Okay, sorry. Metropolis, Monsters, Inc. Um, all of my ghost friends, you know, we talk about that. This is good. It's in my scent club too. This one was old. It's from the Fantasy Wax Collection. This is a Pixie Sparkle. You can see how old it was. I just used it up. I don't really like it. It's okay. Oh, a wink and a smile, you guys. This is a bring back my bar right now. Oh, and the apples and s'mores is a current bring back my bar. For those of you that don't know. Um, this is really good, too. It smells so 
yummy. I literally, when I got this, I cleaned out all my warmers, put it right in, and it's so good. It's about a three-day warm, in my opinion. Um, red berry and spruce from the sense of the season. One of the girls on my team, she said that this smelled like me. She said that when she smelled this, it made her think of me. And I think that's really funny because we work together too, you know, our Monday through Friday job. And now that I smell it again, I mean, I have to smell a full bar of it. It's good. This is a sweet berry with a little bit of Christmas in it, like a Christmas tree. I really like that. Uh, berry blessed. I'm, I'm good with this. This is probably one of my last ones. I might have one or two more. And the scent pads. I had that going in my dining room. I'm, I'm okay with it. Cloudberry Dreams. That's current in the catalog right now. This is a good bedroom scent. It's like a rose and like a rose with perfume. I really do enjoy that one. Best in Snow. So a funny story. That's what's going right now here in this room, which I got to clean out the warmers because I can't smell it anymore. It's been about four or five days. I put this in the warmer. So this does not smell like my mom at all. Like does not smell like her. And then I put it in the warmers. I came back into this room and I was like, oh my God, it smells like my mom in here. And it was like the second day, like it had warmed that night. And then I was, I came back in and I, so I said to Joe, I said, Joe, come in here and smell this. And I didn't say anything. I said, just smell the room. And he was like, it smells like your mom in here. <laughs> so weird. So best in snow is a good scent. It was good for me too. And then peppermint dreams. This is new in the bring back my bar right now too. Oh, so good. I put this in my warmer straight away. Um, when I got it the other day and it was so good. I enjoyed it so well. This will go in my club. This is a good peppermint scent. It's really good. Um, and then as, oh, one more. Oh, pumpkin tiramisu. So good. You can't get this one either, but it's very yummy. And then as always, I go through probably like two of these a month. Just saying. So there you have it. That's all of the wax that I've used up, what I've been warming. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you saw that orb or this. I don't know. I keep seeing them. Let me know if you saw them and I will talk to you soon. Bye.